Hey guys, one of the most pressing questions for iPhone users is how to delete or trash their photos because photos uh, take most of the space on your iPhone and yeah, really often you, you can't download, if you are low on space, you can't download any apps, nothing because you have too many photos and videos. So I will show you the way how to delete photos and how to entirely actually delete them to free space on your iPhone. So like right now I have a screenshot uh, of uh, my uh, yeah of my iPhone here uh, in the photo app. So to delete photo, you just need to press this uh, trash uh, button in the top uh, bottom and press delete photo. Yeah. So right now photo was deleted, but it wasn't entirely deleted. So it means it still has uh, sp uh, space uh, on your iPhone. Uh, to entirely delete it, you need to go to albums and go to recently deleted album. Uh, so, like, as you see, uh, it can take up to 40 days to for some photos to be entirely deleted. So it means your space will be freed only after this uh, 30 or 40 days. So you, you can't wait more. So in order to entirely delete these uh, photos, you just type uh, select and then delete all delete two photos yes so after that photos were deleted entirely from your uh, iphone and uh, they no longer take any space yeah so that's uh, that's how you entirely delete photos from your iphone and free a lot of space uh, but my suggestions would be it's not something like a promotion or something you can also use google photos app and yeah, uh, so basically you can store unlimited amount of photos uh, on your uh, Google Photos app and they are stored in cloud. So for example, if you delete uh, photos from your iPhone, you can instantly upload them to Google Photos and then you won't lose them. So you don't need to like to connect to your laptop, anything you just, uh, yeah, you just instantly upload to, to Google Photos app. And this, this way you can actually save, save a lot of space if you are low on space or you are running some old iPhone, stuff like that. Yeah, so I, I found this tool quite useful for new photos and stuff. So thanks for watching, hope it helps you around.